Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ghostbusters, answer the call, 2016 Jillian Holtzman action figure, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said today, we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters, answer the, answer the call. 2016 Jillian Holtzman action figure. This is a figure I've been waiting quite a while to get. Everyone I saw on eBay and Amazon had it for price well over 50 bucks, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I managed to find this one. One night I was tossing and turning in bed, couldn't sleep. I decided to browse eBay and I thought I'd check to see if they actually had it. The first listing on there was this one here. $20 $21 plus shipping and handling ended up coming out to about 30 bucks. Very, very awesome. You got the green slime packaging with the uh, safety stripes there at the bottom. You have the back of the package here. Abby Yates, Aaron Gilbert, Jillian Holtzman, Patty Tolan. Uh, Abby came with the arms of Rowan. Aaron Gilbert came with the legs of Rowan. Patty Tolan came with the head. And Jillian Holtzman came with the body. Uh, as you can imagine how frustrating it is uh, having all of them except for the one that has the torso. So I've had all these little parts uh, lying around for the better part of two years now. But I managed to find it. And now we're going to cut into it and take a look at Jillian. Alright, so as you can see it's pretty much the same basic base body uh, except she has no lower sleeves on her arms everything else is almost identical to the other ones uh, aside from the head very cool figure uh, she doesn't really look too much as the uh, like Jillian Holtzman in the movie not a super good likeness of her but it's still good nonetheless uh, I kind of wish they would have gave her her little hand pistols like she had in the movie that come out from the bottom of her pack. That would have been very nice, but they would have had to do a completely new mold of the pack for that. So I can understand that. Um, let's go ahead and take off the proton pack. You want to be very careful taking off the uh, proton packs here you gotta put the arms backwards and gently slide it off because it is a very soft rubbery plastic that could easily tear and yeah she's, she's got the same sculpt or the same articulation as the other figures her head is on a ball joint go up and down side to side all the way around uh, do the head bob, uh, arm go up to about there. There we go. Alright, arms go up to about there. However, if you turn them, they can go up all the way down about that far. She has no shoulder or no uh, bicep swivel. Uh, she does have an elbow swivel. She also has an elbow joint. Seems like a maybe a soft ratchet joint. Uh, however, I would be careful because I can see as I move it, the sides are wanting to pop out a little bit. Uh, she has a wrist swivel. Right there. Uh waist swivel her legs can go up full split full split mo pose they can raise up that far in the front which isn't really all that far at all and about that much in back uh, she has a thigh swivel Ooh. That, ooh, that's tight. Knee joints. Let's 
It's really tight. And an ankle joint, ankle rocker. Uh, it doesn't go side to side, but it does go front to back. As you can see, her glasses are the yellow transparent, or goggles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and her name tag only shows the last four letters of her name. Man, because the uh, collar flap is uh, blocking the rest of it. There you have Ghostbusters trademark copyright 2016 uh, 2016 Mattel very nice paint application uh, they could have maybe done her hair a little bit better made her look a little bit more Jillian ish and the proton pack is the exact same proton pack the other answer the call Ghostbusters have uh, and you can attach it attach the proton wand to the pack just like that there's peg right there and a hole right there you just attach it not bad not bad at all now we're gonna go ahead and put the proton pack back on her Let's see if I can do it without breaking anything or tearing anything. Got to be very gentle. put proton wand in her hand like that let's go and there you have it guys from the 2016 answer the call Ghostbusters toy line by Mattel Jillian Holtzman action figure I'm Shannon for come again TV the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos <laughs> And we'll see you next time, my friends. Take care. This is Comic Ed TV. The only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides.